healthcare, technology, people. I've been in the med tech industry for over three decades and I love it. Making healthcare better, improving outcomes, improving patients' lives. How you may wonder through innovation. Today, we are in an amazing place. R&D designers have tools that only 10 years ago they could have dreamed about. Robotics, 3D printing, computational power, data science. These technologies by themselves are nothing without people. Creative and inspired people that can unleash the value of each and unlock the power of them combined. Let's think of innovation in the terms of an actual surgical procedure. Let's think of innovation and let's think of the patient, a human. A human that will get an orthopedic total knee replacement. The human side of this makes a difference. That patient has expectations. And innovation has a direct link to that patient's clinical success. What is the patient thinking? Times have changed. The med tech industry has changed fast in the last few years. Patients have access to more data on themselves than ever before. And they expect more from their surgeon, from their hospital, and from their implant manufacturer. Think of a patient and think of a patient going through an orthopedic knee procedure. This is a person's knee. You can see patella tendons, ligaments. Here's some metal and plastic put in. Gets rid of arthritis. The pain of arthritis makes a patient mobile again so they can flex their knee and return to normal living activities, healthcare, and innovation. Now let's think of the patient today and let's think of us in the world of technology. Well, before a patient cared if they got a knee implant, is that, gonna, is that gonna last their lifetime? You know, today though, not the case. People have greater expectations. Someone expects to go to one day surgery and be out of a hospital. Someone expects to go to physical therapy and get their knee flexing again. Someone expects not to be in pain. Someone expects to go back to work. They have an expectation that they never have a hospital readmission. They have an expectation that they never have another implant need to be put in them. We're living in the world of individualized medicine, patient satisfaction, return to normal daily living activities, the quality of life. The expectation is tremendous. And we as a med tech industry are rising to it. And we're rising to it because of all the technology we have today. The combination of technology and the combination of engineers, computer science people, data coordinators, data analytics, data engineering, it's exciting because today, all of these things together give us more information to design. Manufacturing processes have increased dramatically. Now we can make shapes and configurations with 3D printing that we never could have made before with conventional manufacturing processes. Think about it in the 80s and 90s, mills, lathes, casting, now we can make a complex shape right off the screen of a computer and we can 3D print that shape. In geometries that other manufacturing process is limited, creativity now is untapped. And now if we think about what is, what is an improvement to clinical outcomes in the past, well, as an engineer in the past, the total knee procedure Someone's expectations from a company manufacturing or designers, someone like me, was that the person could get out of a chair. They could walk to the table and eat. They can get out of bed. Maybe they could walk in a store. Maybe they could have limited mobility. Maybe they could play a golf game. Now, the expectation of a patient is they can get off a floor unaided, that they can go back to bike riding. Some people will want to walk and hike. Some people may have an occupation where they're unloading trucks. They do not want the limitation of a total knee procedure to get in their way. So now we further evolve with technology. 
We further evolve with clinical data on people. We combine data science. We combine everything and now we could look and treat patients as individuals. You have a certain knee geometry that's like no one else. Your ligaments and your muscles are configured for you like no one else. Your expectations may be very different. How you got to the form of arthritis trauma could be very different. What does that all mean? That difference tells us we will now move into the world of individualized medicine. We will now take that implant and not just design an implant, that's right. We will help surgeons determine where the placement of that implant is best for you. Innovation. We can now design implants through computer modeling like we never could before. The computational power that an engineer has exceeds anything we've seen in the last decade. We can design differently and now that design differently that may be unique and have different aspiration and different pieces and parts and different, different, different configurations. That configuration now can be printed so we could design differently. We can manufacture with 3D printing differently. And then the missing link is that individualized medicine. How do we know with that specific patient where the implant goes? And then how can we execute that plan with technology? So let's think of the total knee. Now we designed an implant. Now we manufactured one. It goes back to where does it fit in that person? Where is their joint line? What type of flexion do they need? Where did they need that implant? Now we could take CT scans and create three-dimensional accurate representations of that person's bone, their femur, their tibia. We could look at a relationship of anatomic landmarks, thousands of points with algorithm development and data engineer. And we could figure out for that unique person where the implant needs to go, individualized medicine. Now let's technology further. How's technology help the surgeon? Okay, now we have a great implant. Now we have a great plan, all data driven. Have to execute the plan. And for the to work, it's one thing to see this plan on a computer. You have to take it out of the computer. You have to execute it in the operating room with the surgeon. And the way to do that is through robotics. There's never been a robot that entered an industry and left the industry. There's never been a robot that has entered an industry and that industry did not benefit from it. Orthopedics and medicine in the operating room will be no different. Robotics gives a form of accuracy, precision, and hitting a target like no other tool and like no human can accomplish in an operating room. So now we could take that plan and now with the computer plan individualized to the person, that goes into the robot and that helps guide the bone preparation instruments, the saws, the burrs, the drills, the reamers. And you replicate that plan that you saw on a computer in ways we never could have envisioned before. So now we have the combination of computational power for design, 3D printing for unique features of design, and robotics for planning and executing individualized medicine plan. And it's the gift that keeps on giving. Because now out of this, we have more data on the patient and we could pour it out the final three dimensional placement of the implant and we can extrapolate that to patient outcomes. We could put wearables, we could look at Fitbits, we could look at Apple watches, we could look at mobility postoperatively and say to ourselves, well, was that the real perfect position for that implant in that patient? Let's get feedback. Is that patient mobile? How often are they getting out of a chair? We never could have done this before. Now through the internet, we can get this and we can now do more computer science. And we could do algorithm development on population health. We can now take tens of thousands of patients, no, hundreds of thousands of patients, and look at all their data and benefit and understand, is our designs executing what we want it to? Is the 3D printing aspect of this all, or can we do more? And with robotics, let's keep algorithm development and keep going through permutations and seeing, is that patient the best? How are they walking upstairs? How are they walking downstairs? How are they getting out of a car? Put wearables on them. It's such a great information source and it's all today. And it really is the combination of all these components 
healthcare, innovation, improving patients' lives, using technology creatively. In this case, computational modeling, 3D printing, robotics, and data science. By themselves, they are remarkable, but by themselves, they're nothing. It's people, it's students graduating college, it's small startup companies, it's large R&D organizations and large implant manufacturers. It's the people who creatively look at these tools. These tools are nothing without people. It is the combination to solve problems. In this case, to solve clinical issues. Isn't it amazing and great that people in today's world have access to these tools? And isn't it great that creativity now is expanded and the potential to do remarkable things. And in the case of MedTech, evolve MedTech in ways that truly benefit humans, truly benefit patients, truly benefit healthcare. It's exciting times now. And the journey that we were on, it will keep continuing and it'll keep evolving. And that's really great. It's great for technical people that have access to it. It's great for companies that are getting involved. It's great for physicians and most important, it's greater for the patients that benefit from this remarkable point in time that we were in. Healthcare will, will, will do well. MedTech will continue to thrive.